A glowing meteorite has slammed into the forest floor and glazed the trees with an eerie green phosphorescence. It covered each blade of grass with a dusting of glimmering space powder, and it woke up the mushrooms! If you like the campiness of 1950s B-Real horror, you're going to love the story fueling Redfly Studios' Mushroom Men The Spore Wars for the Nintendo Wii. It pays homage to the era in virtually every aspect of its presentation, from the font on the box to the game's strange narrative. The fungus among us are alive, fashioning weapons from toothpicks and thimbles and engaging in a war of not-so-epic proportions beneath our very feet. Summoning the spirit of classic films like Deadly Mantis and The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, Mushroom Men makes no attempt to hide the influences from which it germinated. But in addition to all that, Mushroom Men also triggers nostalgia for a different period and a different medium. Specifically, the golden age of 3D platform games in the late 1990s. So if you're familiar with games like Banjo-Kazooie and Conker's Bad Fur Day, you've already got a good idea what to expect from Mushroom Men. For better or worse, the way you feel about those classic platformers from a decade ago may determine your feelings toward Redfly's Porcini-infused take on the genre. <laughs> Controlling a young mushroom named Pax, you traverse massive open environments searching for chunks of the meteorite, and battling mushrooms of opposing species. Using standard controls for the genre, you move packs with the nunchucks analog stick and press A on the Wii Remote to jump. Now in terms of presentation, Mushroom Men was crafted using some very original ideas, but in just as many aspects, standard is the game's operative descriptor. While jumping, Pax can float by grasping his mushroom cap and using it like a parachute. He can manipulate objects covered in slimy mushroom spore with his Jedi-like telekinetic powers. He can collect special items hidden throughout the levels, and he attacks enemies with a quick flick of the Wii Remote. Now, it all works well, but it's also all been done before. Floating feels just like extending your jumps in Super Mario Sunshine, Moving objects feels similar to Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Collecting items feels exactly like it did in countless Rareware games last decade, and engaging enemies requires the same waggle that defined so many first-generation Wii games. So obviously, Mushroom Men sometimes feels very formulaic. Fans of platforming may love how the game satisfies the genre's attributes in checklist fashion, but others may be turned off by how conventional the experience is. In fact, in terms of gameplay, the only really unique thing offered in Mushroom Men is weapon creation. By finding tiny items scattered throughout the levels, you can assemble hilariously pint-sized weaponry with equally humorous names. Occam's Razor, for example, is crafted with a stick, a piece of string, and a rusty old razor blade. And there are tons of other weapons you can make as well. Mushroom Men's use of perspective makes its weapons clever, and the rest of the game also benefits greatly from that terrific use of perspective, which is easily my favorite aspect of the game. The world surrounding these mushrooms is massive to them, but something small to humans is huge to Pax, and this allows for great level design with clever twists on perspective and plenty of subtle humor. For example, Pax can use a 25 cent sticky hand like a grappling hook, attaching it to quarters that are stuck to the wall with bubble gum to reach ledges. And he walks over bottle caps that parody popular pop brands with names like Spite and Dr. Salts. These plays on perspective make you forget the gigantic levels are actually just garages and backyards, like offbeat leftovers from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids.
Mushroom Man is also a bit bizarre, and sometimes downright gross. When Pax loses health, he slowly loses his mushroom cap, exposing his viscous green brain tissue. And he can regain health by finding globs of spore, which are most rarely available spewing from plants and oozing from the decaying bodies of animals affected by the meteorite, their dead eyes green and terminal wounds seeping. The game's awesome grossness is natural given its influences, story, and characters, and it also benefits from fantastic art direction and style. Mushroom Men is a very good game, but it's also very conventional and sometimes feels like it just came 10 years too late. But if you're looking for a solid platformer with conventional gameplay and a fantastic original concept, look no further than the slimy, disgusting Mushroom Men The Spore Wars. Mm-hmm.